Restoring an old building requires a lot of lime. You really only have three options. You can buy the cheap stuff, buy more expensive lime, or make it yourself. I'm going to show you three quick and easy ways to burn your own lime. I've used each of these methods for years now, but I'm still learning more about the process every time I do it. I make a lot of shingles, and this leaves a lot of shavings that are perfect for starting fires in a hurry. In no time at all, I've got a small but steady fire burning. A few heavy blocks are thrown on top, and as they catch fire, I dump on my first half bucket of shells. After these burn down a bit, I add more wood and another half bucket of shells. If I'm burning at night, I cover the fire with scrap tin. A few hours later, after the fire is out and everything's cooled down, I'm left with a mix of burn shells and ash. I remove most of the ash with an old window screen and put the burn shells in a metal bucket. If you don't cover it and the burn shells get wet, they'll turn into a wet, ashy mess. I pour water over the shells and then pour it out, taking away most of the remaining ash. This sets off the sleeking process. Burning a wood stove is a pleasant experience for man and beast. It can also be used to burn very small batches of lime. With a steady fire burning, I throw in a few handfuls of shells every time I load up with wood. When I clean out the ashes, the shells are ready to sort out and put to use. I have a combination wood and coal stove, so I got the chance to try burning lime with coal for the first time this year. It did an exceptional job, but very fast. I prefer burning shells with wood, I think. Limestone, though, seems to do well with coal. Unfortunately, burning more than three or four gallons of lime in a stove at a time is impractical. For the average homeowner who just needs to patch a bit of plaster here and there or fill in a few mortar joints, it may work. A metal barrel with the ends cut out is something I use a lot for burning lime. I lift the bottom off the ground a few inches with bricks or refractory blocks and a heavy metal mesh can be helpful but isn't totally necessary. I light a fire, usually at sunset. Burning lime can generate lots of smoke and it's best just to do it in the evening. As the barrel heats up, I load it with heavy blocks of slow burning wood and dump in about half a bucket of shells. Das war ein Befehl! Der andere Stein, das war ein Befehl! A slow burning wood like hickory is best. If the wood is a bit damp, that has some benefits also. As the fire burns down, I add more fuel and more shells. Oyster shells are my favorite lime source. They're small enough to easily burn, but large enough to separate from the ashes without a screen. Burning lime sets off a lot of carbon dioxide, so don't go breathing in the fumes. With the barrel off the ground, it's relatively easy to cut off the draft and control the temperature of the barrel. Alright, she's under control. She's burning good and slow. 
It'll burn for at least two or three more hours. We'll see what we got. The biggest problem I have with these crushed shells is they'll get packed in so tight that they'll choke out a fire. I'm curious to see if I can burn limestone like this. It's more difficult to burn than shells, so stick around and see how it goes. It's kind of hard to believe that I actually make a living doing this stuff. I can't be the only guy in the world that likes to piss on hot burn barrels when nobody's around. Don't tell Catherine. I can burn three or four or five gallon buckets of shells without a problem using a barrel. I cover the barrel before I head in for the night. The next morning, after my usual breakfast of tea and tobacco, I set out to sort out the lime. It would be a lot easier if I just burnt one type of lime at a time. Burning limestone and shells in the same batch means you're going to have to sort them out because both are very different. Second only to pissing on the barrel this is probably the most satisfying part, slaking the lime. This process generates a lot of heat. So do be careful if you do this. Oh man, that really puffed up. Now that we have hydrated lime, I can show you what you can do with it. 